Most people don't realize that the vast majority of our killer whales were born in our care. Behind me is Kalia and her four and a half month old calf, Amaya. She is just one of over 30 successful killer whale calves we've had born in our parks. Recently, we got a question on this exact topic from Sammy on Twitter. Sammy asks, so you say you don't collect the whales from the wild. Where do they come from then? Thank you for your question, Sammy. The truth is, SeaWorld hasn't collected a killer whale from the wild in over 35 years. For your reference, that's back when President Carter was in the White House. I understand that some people are uncomfortable with the fact that killer whales were once taken from the wild, but the world has changed a lot since then, and we have changed with it. So we want to share more about how our killer whales are helping us to protect their counterparts in the wild. There are a lot of different groups that are saying things like, well, there's nothing that we can learn from whales in captivity. In the case of my research, that's absolutely not the case. PETA and other critics of SeaWorld have said that there's no value in keeping killer whales in captivity. Now, I disagree with that. My area of expertise is bioacoustics, which is understanding animal communication and perception. And I'm interested in the dialects of killer whales. My research focuses on trying to understand natural carbon monoxide levels that are produced in mammals. Our work on heart rate is allowing us to develop the tools to examine the electrocardiogram and actually know that we are getting an accurate record of heart rate in the animals while they're diving. Once we've accomplished this here at SeaWorld, we can now use these techniques when we go to sea and put these on animals at sea to see how these animals are able to dive as deep and as long as they do. The work that we're doing is important for helping to manage the killer whales in the wild because we're learning about the flexibility and the adaptability of their dialect system in a way that you really can't, you can't plan an experiment like this in the wild. Having whales at SeaWorld is a great opportunity for scientists like myself to come here and collect very controlled samples that are otherwise impossible to collect in the wild. Those are just three examples of more than a dozen research projects we're working on to benefit killer whales everywhere. We're proud of the work that we've done, but we're committed to doing even more. That's why we recently announced we're investing $10 million, the largest private investment of its kind, for studying protecting killer whales in the wild. The truth is, we love these whales. We've dedicated our lives and careers to giving them world-class care today and for years to come. Thanks again for the question, and keep them coming.